Hello, hello. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, when I left off, we had gotten the attendant, the, the attendees for the wedding to start heading off. And somehow they're going to manage to beat us there, despite the fact that we're driving a motorcycle over the mountains in a straight line. How the fuck are those guys walking on foot and having to go around the mountains going to go faster? Oh, maybe they're taking a boat, actually. That might be theoretically faster now that I think about it. Oh, that's a... That's a one-eyed giant. Guarding a high-value stone. I want, I want the treasures that you're next to. I don't care about you. Actually, you know what? Let's see how fast we can fuck this guy's day up. He's not wearing any leg armor. Jesus, fuck me, huh? That's amazing. Not even a threat. <laughs> level one bitch. He's a level one bitch while I'm a level 100 pro. Ha 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 Alright, <laughs> being stupid. Let's continue along. Yeah, I keep underestimating just how fucking incredible the Master Sword is. That's... oh shit. You know what? Let's, let's really put to the test how strong our, our thing is. Dude, Link, jump sideways. Fuck me. I keep trying to jump, and we kept trying to dodge, and he wasn't fucking dodging. Oh, low energy. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. Sunk cost fallacy. Let's keep going. Shit. How'd I fall? Shit. I got this. Dude, pull out the bow. Oh, we're fucked. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. We're fucking him up. What's our next strongest? Is it going to be 32? Yes. No, 34. Oh, we got him? Shit, I didn't even realize. Nice. Alright, let's drop this shitty thing. No, this shitty thing. And... Oh, I can't get that bow. There we go. Nice. Let's get back on Todd Britain. Nice little diversion there to keep the, uh, the excitement up, you know? Let's continue to that wedding. And it buys the other dudes a little bit more time to get there before me, realistically. Yeah, if they took a boat, maybe they could just about beat me. Without a stretch of the imagination. Oh, there's a Korok down there. So I've got all these little diversions to deal with. And... Yeah, yeah, I think... I think they actually reasonably could beat me there. Huh. 
Because if we think about the fact that, you know, like, maybe around the time I started fighting the Lionel a little bit, uh, a little bit into the Lionel fight, they could have reasonably gotten on a boat with the amount of time it would take them to walk down. Uh, then right now they'd probably be sailing right by me, you know. I don't think this is unreasonable for them to do it. Continue Meat Cave here. That's a Korok puzzle, and that was boulders that almost killed me. Oh, let's put on our Korok mask. I don't know why I'm not wearing it. You can let me know all the Koroks I'm not getting. Oh, shit. Uh, let us refuel you with teeth. Teeth, 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 teeth. Metabolize that bone. Very cool reloading animation. Alright, let's continue on. I feel like a first person mod for this game would be interesting to look at. A uh, VR mod. I, I don't even know how the fuck you would do that, but I want that. Somebody remake this game in VR. I'll suck your dick. No joke. I'll actually suck the penis of you as long as you don't have an STD. Or if you're a woman, eat your vagina. Or if you're a woman with a dick, suck your dick. Or if you're a man with a vagina, uh, eat your vagina. You know? I'm all. I'm an all-inclusive whore. That's just... There we go. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, you know, I was going through YouTube shorts. Uh, I was going through my YouTube shorts uh, the other day, and I got something of a guy, like, showing off mini games he, inve he was inventing in, uh, Minecraft. And he said, like, like uh... He's like, oh, I am the queen of this game. And dude, the comments were full of angry homophobic people. Because this guy said he was the queen of queen of Minecraft mini golf. And I'm just like, you really that fucking worked up about this shit that somebody can't even like jokingly say, oh, I'm the queen of this game. Like, get fucking get a fucking life if you're getting worked up over that shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I think right around now they might be touching down on the shore and starting to walk up the hill, like they're touching down right around here and are starting to walk up. You know. There. We go. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't have any more raviolis. That's a shame. That definitely gets them more time to catch up. Or to get ahead of me. Oh my god, yeah. Fuck me. This mountain. Uh, hang on, let's see if we can't just... drive around a little bit more. I don't think we can. Come on. Get me up there. Oh, what is this? Something good? Ooh, something very good. Nice. I could be so rich if I wanted to be with just another trip up Death Mountain. Oh shit, I did not mean to jump off. Okay, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Raffioli, why, why are you here when I... Wait, maybe it is gonna work. Look at that little lip. I was worried that I would fall down. This is a cool area to be able to drive across. And it's gonna look real nice on the playback of the hero's path, I think. Sorry, Foxy. Alright. Yes. Careful, careful. There we go. 
Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Fuck. There we go. Oh Your shit. Is now ready. Woo! That was almost bad. <laughs> Luckily we got top ten zero. It takes me right up. Oh, you know what? It keeps going around. I want to keep following this, see where it goes. There we go. That's... That's a high value ore. Go. Ah, uh, just a couple ambers. Amber, you will remember my name. Oh, man, I just love Amber from Danny Phantom. So much that it makes me want to shoot up a fucking school. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Danny Phantom Amber Murderer. I'm referencing a fucking bizarre and horrific event with that. So fucking weird. Oh, if you want to have another uh, uh, weird time googling something and looking into it, get things not moving at all. Look up, um, no, it's blank, please. Look up tw uh, fucking, hang on, let's see if we can't, no shit, please, don't do this to me, game. Come on, Link. There we go, we just needed one. Uh, look up, man, I'm trying to think of the terms you can use to search it. I can't think of the exact terms, there's a guy who... Like went to Vegas and married his Twilight Sparkle body pillow and then started like angrily trying to sue people who were drawing Twilight Sparkle fan art saying that they didn't have permission to draw his wife. All right, let's go Master Cycle. Todd Burton! All right, here we go. Yeah. I'm enjoying just doing this long drive to the wedding. You can tell that they never really intended you to walk around or move around this area much because the textures are kind of stretched in a lot of spots. And almost there. Yeah, I think it's reasonable that they could have just about beat me here. There it is. What a beautiful town. I can't wait to visit it in the sequel game and see what's come of it. It's beautiful, though. Especially, no, like... The fact that we worked to build up, you know. Oh, Master Sword's power has been restored. I was like, what the fuck is that saying? Uh. Alright, let's let's get Reno you know, properly done up for this wedding. Whole Royal Guards outfit. Charge attack stamina up. Stamina up. That's cool. Oh yeah, that looks fucking snazzy. I am ready for this wedding. Oof, not, not the best time for a wedding, actually, guys. Let's wait till tomorrow, huh? Oh, God, he's been waiting there for days for that wedding. Uh, let's real quick level up as well, because we got enough energy to, or enough spear orbs to do that. 
Uh, heart container, please. Oops. I accidentally hit the B button. Heart container, please. Yes. Yeah. See? Just like that. Mm. Fantastic. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Have you redone your stock yet? Ooh, you brought back a gear. I'll take that. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> Beautiful environments here. Right, let's let the night pass so that the blood moon can go away. Hi. Yes, I'd like to sleep. Uh, wake me in the morning. Wake me up when September ends. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside when September ends. The blood moon rises once again. You know, there's this uh, YouTube channel, Thanks I Ruined It, that's just like funny song mashups. I want them to do one where it's like all the time songs tell you to wake up so I can use that as my phone alarm. <laughs> I would 100% I would set, set that as my phone alarm. It'd be hilarious. Oh, look, now they're lounging around over here. Watch my shoe. Oh my god, this is deeper than I thought it'd be. This is, this is how you shower in the village. Oh wait, my face isn't in it. That ruins the joke. And let's just, just look at it from this angle. I was thirsty. Mm. Good morning. We're here. Talk to Hudson and let's uh, get the ceremony started. Morning. I just met with Hudson, so now I'm feeling pretty relaxed. That reminds me, have you already met Hudson's fiance? I've seen her. She's a real beauty. And apparently she's an amazing tailor too. All those clothes she sells, she makes them herself. You know, my girlfriend also works in a clothing shop, although her father's making all the clothes they sell. I guess it doesn't matter. You're dating the girl in the clothing shop in Hitano? Bro! I had no idea, good for you. What's up, man? Ooh. Hey. You extend my invitation for me. Thank you. Now then, Carson and uh, bo the boss, Bolson, are waiting for things to begin. Shall we start the ceremony? Of course. Understood. Then let's join the gathering. M Magic the Gathering? Go! Oh. <laughs> Ahem. Silence, please, everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Rodson, er, to H Hudson and er, Rodonson in a matrimony. Hudson, before the eyes of the wit uh, of the witnesses and before the goddess Hylia, do you take Rodson to be your wife? And to have and to hold, in good times and in bad. I do. Excellent. And Rodson. Before the eyes of the witnesses, and before the goddess Hylia, do you take Hudson as your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health? And do you also vow to name your children in accordance to the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines? <laughs> Wait a moment. Those vows are not traditional by, uh, by anyone's standards. What makes you say that? Mama. They're as traditional as it gets. I think I just started a cult. I, I don't think she meant traditional in, this sense of, in that sense of the word. <laughs> a vow of undying tradition. 
and a vow of gui <laughs> guidelines compliance. I'll take that vow. I started a cult. Think of the future generations. Oh no. Well, those are the guidelines. I do. Excellent. <coughs> and so, dearly beloved, please help me in guaranteeing this newly married couple. I wish this new couple nothing but the utmost happiness as they set off on the journey of marital bliss. Next time on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. With all of our main, uh, the most important things we want to do out of the way. Like, I, I think. I don't think there's anything else I super want. I mean. Okay, we got to talk to Hudson still. But, like, none of the other quests are ones I'm necessarily super worried about going out of my way to do. They're just busy work and treasure hunting. So, I think at this point, it's just hunting the last few shrines. And that's exactly what we'll do next time. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode of Legend... Ooh, that's faster than I thought it'd be. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In just a moment, ad cards should be appearing. Go ahead and click one of those to continue watching. And remember to stick around the channel, because once we're done, and we're moving on to the next... Or, or after we've defeated Ganon, we'll move on to our next journey with Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you've all enjoyed the series so far. I love all you very, very much, and that's all for now.